Our buddies at Tito's Vodka, they have come out with their ugly sweater this year, like everybody does an ugly sweater every year. But these guys have kind of gone over the top. They've got a whole store full of ugly stuff, and they, they're calling it Kinda Ugly. They've introduced their Kinda Ugly holiday collection. Uh, it's got regular ugly sweater stuff, but it's also got stuff for dogs. It's got Christmas ornaments. So, and, and some of this stuff's fun, and the sayings are fun. I mean, I like Tito's, Texas people, and all that stuff. They're really good. But they've got dog stuff, beanies. They got uh, a bottle sweater. Uh, they've got some Christmas wrapping paper. Kind of ugly sweater that says "Let it pour, let it pour, let it pour," which is fun. They've got a kind of ugly dog sweater for dogs. I don't know. It's got to be a big dog to wear that thing. So that's huge. Um, they've got an ugly kind of ugly beanie. They've got a kind of ugly bottle sweater. Five packs, so five ugly sweaters for your for your bottles. So if you're on the podcast, you can't see this, but it's a it's a it's a sweater for a bottle of vodka. It's kind of cool. And there's five of them, five of them for twenty bucks. So that's a great deal, right? What else do they have here? A not that ugly sweatshirt for dogs. I don't know why they said not that ugly, and it's not that ugly. It's just a same kind of Christmas pattern. Tito's ugliest quarter zip. So it's not even kind of ugly. It's ugly. It's a quarter zip sweater, I guess. Um. I mean, those are cool. That's for adults, for people. Sorry. But then you get into their ornaments. This is a 50 milliliter, a little dinky 50 milliliter bottle, empty, for $20. I'm sorry, for a set of two, so 10 bucks a piece. And then they also have an ugly sweater ornament that looks like, it looks like a Tito's ugly sweater that's nothing like on the website, but it looks like it's on a Christmas ball kind of thing. Glass ornament. Uh, okay, and it's 20 bucks for one ornament. I don't know. I think it's a lot. But the ugly sweater stuff is fun. Uh, the ugly sweater bottle stuff is fun. The cool thing, I mean, they're really big into dogs too. So 100% of the proceeds from sales of this stuff is donated to dog charities. If you're going to do this kind of thing, do it and get charity involved. It's a really cool way to uh, you know, get your brand out there, uh, support some charities. It's kind of a cool thing. And find a cause. I mean, their whole cause is dogs. They've got, They've got a whole... They've got a whole um, section on their website that's all dogs, leashes, bandanas, uh, dog toys, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, Tito's big into dogs. So, I mean, pick your pick your charity and take care of it. So it's a cool thing. Go Tito's. I like it. It's a takeaway. Give back to your community. Find a cause. Help support it, and get your name out there in the process. You know, and it's not so bad. I mean, you know what? I used to think I don't want to put my name on stuff. If I donate, I don't want to donate anonymously because I don't want the attention. By lending your name to something, it gives it credibility. So it's not such a bad thing. So, yeah, you might sound like you're blowing your own horn, but it's fine. If people are, if people know that you're doing it, if people know your business supports, you know, XYZ charity, then maybe that'll encourage them to do it as well. So it's not as self-serving as, as it sounds like. 